Okay, welcome to Farm Radio. A quick update on the Panasonic R111 here. Um, the fact that we have the IF coil in there is good, but the uh, other factor is it's too tall. So the only way this radio is going to go back together is to repair, find another, or repair the original one. So that's what we've gone ahead and done. I managed to uh, remove all the corrosion, wax, I'm not going to go into details here too much, but I basically attached the broken wire and I had to remove the slug and I've repaired the leg here. If I can grab this. I don't want to bend these legs anymore. They can't take much more. Um, let me get some focus. I had two problems. Uh, the side with the two legs was open. The side towards the camera has the repair. I had to, uh, I had a broken leg. So I basically used some wire wrap, silver wire. I went down, I couldn't go through the broken off stud. So I went, I don't know if you can see, around the capacitor there because that side of the capacitor just happens to tie into that terminal up above. So it's physically connected above and then I ran it through and tacked it on the stub from the broken pin. So it's soldered in two places and physically connected, mechanically. Um, and we have readings across all the coils. I'll show you, I will test here momentarily. So basically this is what we're looking at, this transformer here, A3, one and four were open. Actually, like pin one will say was disconnected. I don't know exactly which one it was one or, or it was four. And uh, so I have it orientated. This is the way it is in the radio. This might be tripod time, but you'll have to take my word for it. Okay, so orientated how it is in the radio. Uh, we'll go, let's see, between pin one and four should be 0 0.3 ohms. And now we, come on, now we have that. Um, 2.2 and 6 ohms. I don't know who's 2.2 and who's 6, but here goes, here goes. That's this side here, so. Across. 8 ohms, 8.2, we'll call that the 6, and then from the center tap, five oh, 5.9 and 2.2, 2.4, .2. 2 okay, so we have 2.4 for the 2.2, and we have 5.9 for the 6, and on the secondary here, we have 0.7 ohms. It says 0.3. So that's good. Now, we have to take it and put it back in the can. I just have to figure, check the video, which orientation the little solder tab was because they cut one off. That's it. The repair is going forward. So there we basically are with the can slid on. I'll check the orientation of the solder tab and uh, get on with it. The TOCO repaired IF transformer. I also wanted to mention also in the quest for parts here, I uh, cannibalized this uh, Timex slide rule clock radio here. And uh, has a nice little, about the same size uh, bar antenna. I would like to finally realize what these uh, color codes are. Black, green, red, no color. And you can see they just tacked them right on the chip there. But these transformers that are short are too fat. 
It's like I cannot find a match for this radio anywhere. This would not fit. Even if it technically was similar, I couldn't get it in there. It's, 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 it's too wide. Either too tall, too wide, or a combination. Um, what I did find in the other radio parts, I'll show you. This is what's left of a Radio Shack 12625 radio. 12625. Not for the IF cans. Um, here's the other half of it here. I melted the wax out of the area. And there's a nice 3 picofarad capacitor here somewhere. I think it's a C7 right there. Yeah, it's right there. It's a 3. That three right there, the green one, will replace the beige one there. That's a seven. So we'll go with uh, an original three, thanks to uh, the Radio Shack radio. And for our five at six volts, I think I'm going to grab one of these uh, here out of this late model VCR or whatever it was. So, when we continue on, I'll use this 4.7 at 16, and the 3 has a longer lead, just like the original. So there's our 3 picofarad, our transformer, and our 4.7 at 16 to replace the 5 at 6 volts right there. I'm just establishing a baseline before I go in and do what I've been dreading, is... Uh, Put the original coil back in now that it's been repaired and fingers burnt uh, getting the bobbin wires back on but that's done we have a new disc capacitor we have to put in and an electrolytic we have to put in i'm just verifying operation here before before i have to undo the repair if i remember correctly it's going to be under sixty dollars so we have to undo our repair of the IF transformer, put the original back in, associated components, and uh, let's see, because I want to listen to Cousin Brucey on AM 77, WABC out of New York tonight, hopefully. I noticed I uh, put this leg back on that was broken, but it's actually, looking at the schematic, it's... Uh, no connection so I didn't even need to do that that's the leg that broke off but it's connected internally across the capacitor so that leg really isn't even needed but it's there anyway okay let's get started I find it so very hard to believe that I have to take out this new IF transformer because it's too big and it's just as difficult to remove as I thought it would be And then we simply have to replace it with the original. Which in itself is going to be another challenge. But here goes. Okay, we powered it up with the new transformer, new old original. It's not aligned. I can't believe it works. I don't know what happened to my leg that was not connected that came through, that didn't come through. I swear it came through. I can't touch, I replaced the, uh, put the original three picofarad, put the original three picofarad back. Oh, the soldering is crazy, the traces are lifting, but it's in. Now the last thing to do is to replace that electrolytic. It's the yellow tantalum right there that was put in temporarily and it's too tall again for the height of the radio. It just it's too big so we're going to replace it with the little green one there. And that's the original, the yellow one right there. So our original on the left 
has the positive on the top, so I've gone and mechanically connected the silver wire rep wire to the positive lead and I'll bend it around and we'll solder it. So that capacitor is right here, C2, the positive goes to the emitter of the first IF, the positive, and the negative goes to the IF can, of course, pin 4, positive to the emitter. This really is not for the faint of heart. I've got the uh, positive lead out and it took another connection with it. And you can see on the IF transformer, there's my other lead that uh, thankfully is not touching the case, but it did not protrude through the hole. And I thought I had checked that. I am just going to leave that because it doesn't serve any purpose. As long as it's not touching the can, we're good. Just for laughs, we'll test our new 4.7, new old. 4.6, 4.8 ohms. And the original. Six point one microfarad and one ohm. And what I pulled up the lead, that must be R eleven, the five sixty ohm, one leg of the five sixty ohm here. But we'll get it back where it belongs. That is indeed R11 and it reads 559 ohms. Okay, pulling that tantalum back out without desoldering was a mistake. Pulling that wire with it was a mistake. However, we got the tantalum out. I scrapped the wire idea for the capacitor being a uh, through hole capacitor instead of axle lead like the original I was able to spread the legs and, and get it through the holes the challenge was getting that resistor the 560 ohm resistor R11 through the same hole they have a big hole to put both leads through and that was that was a challenge so uh, if this works now we're done if this works now if it doesn't oh my gosh so we're going to flip it over and give it a try. We have to be careful of that AM antenna. This should be flipped over the other way, but if this works, this is nothing shy of a miracle. I trust you on that. Trust me on that. Thank you there. So that's when I first met Brian, and we became, became friends ever since. Um, and um, so we actually have okay. the sales staff here when I opened this door. Hallelujah. Uh, Original uh, IF transformer. Electrolytic capacitor replaced with the 560 ohm going through the same feed through. The capacitor is incorrect, Lee. And that's not even aligning it. That's just putting the slug back in. I don't even want to touch the. Uh, I'm not even going to try to turn that right now. We'll align it once it's back in the set. But it's working. The antenna did not suffer. It's time to go back in the cabinet, clean the board, and get this thing back together. Okay, apply power. And the only thing I'm concerned about is this one trace that I just jumped with the solder. It's the shield. I, I don't know what it's for, but it does go to the tuning capacitor. I'm going to call it a ground because it seems to go around the screw, but I just bridged it with solder, but it is cracked. I'm going to take a fine piece of that, a piece of that fine wire and actually put a piece of wire across it. Again, I'm talking right here, this straight trace right there going to the tuning capacitor screw. Okay, again, it's insane to even think about something like this, but when you have a broken trace, you're supposed to jump it with a piece of wire, and that's been done right there. Piece of wire going across the foil instead of just a glob of solder, because if that cracks, the radio is screwed. Next, I forgot all about the earphone jack. Now we have to 
resurrect the earphone jack. I already broke one wire off. Everything's old and brittle. Okay, and here's our new earphone jack. Well, the wiring anyway. Uh, this has to go in before the battery terminal, and uh, so it's going to be attached to the speaker. This is where memory is going to play a role or take pictures. And uh, that's the speaker connections right there. Okay, earphone jack is in, speaker's attached, and here's our 8 ohm at the speaker. So we're good here. Okay, here we are, what I'd like to call the final assembly. We have a few components there the battery terminal and the chassis, and we'll call it the cabinet. Um, I have to remember that this is positive ground. So when I hook this up, my red actually goes to here, the chassis, and my ground goes to the spring, like that. Well, you get the idea. I've attached the power wire up on the uh, top right. The AM antenna is situated. Uh, the power lead is, or uh, yeah, the positive for positive ground is situated there. And then we'll just attach the two speaker leads to the output of the transformer here on the bottom side. I misquoted the output transformer is the one with the green on this side, not the blue one as uh, previously mentioned. So the speaker wires attach right there. Speaker leads attached. I'm trying to get it in the cabinet and something's holding it up and it's that three picofarad. It's blocking the hole, the last the mounting hole for the PC board. It's covering. I've got to move it. It's got to be moved to one side. Another potential problem is that AM antenna wire going to the first transistor, the I want to say the mixer, the first the first transistor. And it's got that blob of solder from the mend because the wire was corroded. That can't touch anything but the base of that transistor when it's back in the cabinet. Well, the good news, it's back in the cabinet. The bad news is when you turn it on and the back cover is on and the screw is there, the bad news is I have audio only and slight hiss. It won't tune a station. So, we've got a problem up in the antenna. As I suspected, I don't know where, but one of the antenna wires must be off. Off or touching where it's not supposed to. So close. It's almost time for... listening to a show. Okay, I got it hooked up to the supply. It's only drawing 40 milliamps and it's working, so... And the battery was warm, so... Plan B. Try again. This antenna wire is a problem here because quite frankly it's a mess. It was broken. I managed to just tack a piece of solder. It's special wire so you can't use just any wire. suppose I could for that distance but uh, let me see what I can come up with here. It's working outside the cabinet. Okay something is shorting out when I try to seat this it's it's 
to I have to Opera code Air 3 is AIR3. Get total home protection from viruses and holes. Visit thunderstormair.com. Try it again. Get whole home protection from viruses. It's like the wires something. I'll check it a little further. It's not lying flat. Okay. We just reseeded some wires. There is no margin of error in this radio. You can't have a wire. You can't have a, a lump of solder, a lead from a component. You can't have... There's no room for any error. That's how critical this is. Now I don't think I can turn the tuning. Yep, I can't turn the, the wheel. I must have a wire. Yeah, we're binding a little because the chassis still up by the antenna isn't sitting quite right. Okay, well, it's getting late. It's getting dark. I do have the back on. I'll do a little more research. It's, it's pretty good, actually. It's not aligned yet. The dial is not binding. I'm trying to find something. Computers on in here. The camera is what that is. Hello. <laughs> well, the main thing is it's working with its original battery. I've got to tweak that uh, IF though. I want to do that. Okay, I have the generator fashioned in a loop. I'm just going to hit this first coil here, the rebuilt one. Just to see if we peak it up, because this is just... Never been tuned since uh, the rebuild. Alright. Stop and look at the email specifically referencing Joe Biden's cut in all of this. And the billion five deal with the bank. I think I finally like boiled well, it down to where I'll have to wait for the sun to go down to do like some late night channel surfing, but for the most part uh, it's aligned. So what do you think the fear of being alone? I, I look forward to being alone. Later Picks up the uh, four or five stations in the area here. And uh Let's see. Drug dealer, put him back out on the streets. On you. We'll see after the sun goes down how it performs. I know what it can do because I've had it breadboarded. Um, just the fact that it's back in the cabinet and it's working uh, is enough for me at this point with this. I've turned everything off, and I'm still getting interference from something. You know, I mean, it, it, it is intense. I mean, I, I was a youth man. So that's going to do it. Somebody's always looking at it. I'm going to call this down. wonderful thing. It's just a different bird more than anything else. Okay. And so... so you're, 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 you're the Panasonic R111. Worst radio to ever have to take apart. It's it's absolutely insane. Thanks for watching. Well, there it is, picking up 770 out of New York, WABC and Cousin Brucie. So the goal has been met. Thanks for watching.